you've had your fill of AAA games you probably know all about. For this video, we give you 10 indie games you probably haven't heard about. Let's take a slice out of the pie and start with Pizza Tower. It's easily the funniest game this year. If you're into memes, then you've probably seen this guy before. And here he's having the time of his life, screaming and running in progressively unhinged levels. Pizza Tower strikes a perfect balance between fun and difficulty. Actually, if you're into Sonic games, then you'll probably like this one. It's tightly packed, but it's also got a whole lot of absurd nonsense. Just forget about the whole storyline and just enjoy the ride. Just one glance at our sauce-slathered hero and you know you shouldn't be taking it too seriously. Switching gears, after being an Epic exclusive for a whole year, Sifu was added to Steam and Xbox and with that, an influx of new players that are ready to take a beating. Sifu is not a casual game. You'll be surprised at how it tests your patience with every increasingly challenging level. It's a game that doesn't pull any punches, literally. I know a lot of people who are afraid of the seas, but these next two games are too good to pass off. You might have even heard of them. Funnily enough, they both have day and night cycles. First is Dredge, a fun and relaxing fish adventure by day, a Lovecraftian horror at night. The mechanics are simple. Catch fish, upgrade your boat, and catch some more. But as you venture farther and risk the dark of night, the ocean transforms into a haunting abyss. Dredge is short. You can finish it in about 10 hours. Its success demonstrates that you can create a memorable and immersive experience without a long game. Proof that sometimes less can indeed be more. If you like funny games like Pizza Tower, there's another one you might like. Dave the Diver. It's one of those games that feels like two games in one. By day, you're diving into an ever-changing seascape for fish, and by night, you take your catch and serve them at the sushi bar you made with your friends. Plus, a lot of weird mini-games in between. Compared to Pizza Tower, you actually get to know the characters. For all its silliness, the story told through its visual novel dialogue and animated cutscenes have more than a few touching moments. Now it's time to draw blades for Bleak Swords DX. Bleak Swords DX is a refreshing take on hack and slash and the roguelike genres. It's cool, it has lightning fast combat, and the pixel art style isn't like anything you've seen before. It might have spent most of its time on the Apple Arcade, but with this, Switch and PC port, it doesn't feel like a mobile game at all. It has new story beats, new game modes, and the already slick design is made even better with gameplay and graphical improvements. For all of you horror junkies out there, Killer Frequency is the bone-chilling indie game you need. It's a slow burn where you play a DJ jamming out to 80s music while a killer is out to get you. Who said radio is dead? It sounds silly. But Killer Frequency's unique radio station setting is what sets it apart. There's the growing tension and the eerie feeling of isolation. I like 80s music, but this one still sends shivers down my spine. If that one's too dark, then you can try Bramble the Mountain King. It's pretty and pretty scary. Think of it as little nightmares, but it takes place in a twisted fairy tale with gnomes, trolls, and nymphs. Yeah, there are fun puzzles to solve and also a lingering dread that's gonna keep you on edge the whole time. It's a short game, but like Dredge, it also packs a punch and doesn't overstay its welcome. Okay, we're done with horror games. Now we're gonna talk about Viewfinder, this unique indie game that puts a spin on reality. The game is all about perspectives. With a Polaroid camera at hand, your only way across its many levels is by finding the right angle. Concept-wise, it's pretty fresh, and it only gets better as you go through the storyline as it offers you puzzles that get more and more complex. This next game is a remaster of a cult classic, so there's a good chance you might have heard of this one. Remember controlling those pixel heroes 10 years ago? Well, in Desktop Dungeons Rewind, the epic adventures are given a new lease on life. Rewind polishes the original gameplay with modern tweaks and a visual overhaul that caters to today's players. A lot of work has been put into this game, and if you ask me, it is a must-play for roguelike and strategy fans.
If you like good looking adventures like Limbo and Inside, you should check this one out. Planet of Lana is not just a game, it's an audio visual experience like no other in this list. You play as Lana on a quest to save her sister with the help of a creature named Mui. I don't want to spoil the story, so I'll keep this short. Even though the puzzles are easy to solve, it excels in great visuals, story, and music. But wait, there's more. A Space for the Unbound has no shortage of vision and heart. It tells us an ambitious story that takes us through 90s Indonesia and even to the consciousness of its characters. Where it really shines is in its story. A kind of coming of age that has so many cute moments while also tackling themes of anxiety and self-doubt that many of us can sympathize with. All of it culminates into a beautiful ending that might just stay with you for a long, long time. For a trippy puzzle experience, meet humanity. You play as this Shiba Inu guiding a mob of damn souls towards salvation. You direct them to turn, jump, climb, or whatever it takes. The sad part is, a lot of them will get crushed, fall off platforms, and just die. It's like a puzzle for your brain and your conscience. Humanity can be challenging at times, but it's not too frustrating. It even has a VR mode, if you're into that. Have you ever fantasized about ruling a kingdom? Then you can try King's Dilemma Chronicles. It transforms the tabletop experience into an in-depth political sim. Control the fate of your realm through difficult decisions that will make your head spin. There's over 300 different scenarios, and if your head wasn't made for the crown, you're probably gonna get a headache. If you want royalty without the tough decisions, then you can try raising a princess. If being a king is too much for you, then being a dad to a princess might be more your speed. In Volcano Princess, you basically raise your daughter to be the best she can be. You still have to make some decisions, but it's more about activities and interactions and all the other decisions that help shape her future. Teaching her life's biggest lessons is as pivotal as maintaining the kingdom. If politics is more your game, then you can topple empires in King of the Castle. We're ending this list with a party game that will put the last seasons of Game of Thrones to shame. Play with 3 to 24 players in a bloody fight for the monarchy. Scheme, backstab, and manipulate your way to the top. But remember, this game, nor are we, are responsible for any friendships you lose. 